So before All-Star break, the Dallas Mavericks went on a six game win streak. And since the date of February 5th, the Mavericks had the best defensive rating at 102.5 and the seventh best offensive rating at 119. This team started off with many people having their questions and concerns regarding the pair of Luka Doncic and Kyrie Irving. And although some concerns were valid, others were not. And after the trade deadline, the Mavs have addressed some of the concerns people had and are looking like a well-oiled machine. When you look at their shooting percentages over the last six games, you can see that they've been connecting on all cylinders as they've knocked down 51% of their shots from the field and 38% of their shots from deep. And as far as their defense goes, well, with them having the best defensive rating over the six game stretch into the all-star break, it shows you that they've taken that leap when it comes to the defensive side. Now, sure, some people will say they still need help and aren't good enough yet and blah, 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 blah. But regardless if you think they're good enough or not, you can't lie. A Kyrie and Luka ran offense lifts this team up a ton and helps this offense run more seamless simply based off the fact that the team has more confidence. Whether they're on the court, off the court, or barely even involved in the play, this Mavs offense has looked smooth and this will be needed in the playoffs. In my last Mavericks video, we focused on both the offensive and defensive side of things, so today we're going to dive more into the offense over the last six games and how an offense led by Kyrie and Luka can be so successful. A major difference we all witnessed coming into this year is how much the pace is ticked up when you watch them on the court. Last year, the Mavs played at a pace of 97, and right now they're playing at a pace of 100. So in the stats, you can see it alone, but it's much better to witness this in actual game film. When Kyrie pushes on the break and gets it up to Lively early, this makes all four Spurs defenders focus solely on him, so with Josh Green filling this outside lane, Derek can find him as he goes out of bounds and it's nothing but net. As the defense, you have to get back to pinpoint where everyone's at quickly because when the team gets sunk in by a hardaway attack, they make the fatal mistake of allowing Luka Doncic to be wide open and this is pretty much a warm up jumper. It can truly be difficult because yeah, you can decide to stop Luka by sending more defenders his way, but with Jones having to split between guarding Hardy or Washington on the perimeter, it's an easy kick across the court for the one extra pass cash. Money, 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 money. When you push the pace like this after misses, you're going to get down the court and score before the opposing team can even get set up, which gives you a major advantage during the course of the game. It may seem like they won't get it up as fast as Kyrie bobbles his rebound a little bit, but with the advancement to Luka, this allows Kyrie to sprint up the floor uncovered, so once he catches with no one in front of him, this forces Wimby to slide over to stop him, but now this opens up Derek Lively on the backside, and you already know what's coming next. With them scoring in such a quick manner, it makes for a lot more easy and uncontested buckets, and let's be honest, when you put Luka and Kyrie into these actions, it can cause the defense many problems. We just seen them flow together to then end it with that lively lob, but at times when you think the pace is going to be normal, Kyrie will flip on the Jets after giving it to Luka, and with that slick passing, Luka can drop it right back to Irving on the run as he soars in to connect on this highly contested shot inside. The connection between these two is unreal, as they both can work off one another greatly, and with them both being high-level scorers, you can't go wrong with either one of them scoring the ball. When you run the two-man action with both Kyrie and Luka, defenders can't help off on either, or in this case, Kyrie Irving, because when the double is shaded at Luka for just a split second, this opens up the pass to Irving not only once, but twice, and now it's a Kyrie knockdown. It's very crucial that defenders stay attached to both of these guys, because it only takes that little amount of space to get the shot off, and now you're watching three points get added to the board. It may sound easy, I know, but when Luka attacks inside and kicks it out to Kyrie, this is going to make the defense rush out to Irving. So now you can attack the closeout to get downhill, which makes Deuce stay inside to cut him off. But guess what? You're leaving Luka wide open. The connectivity between these two is effortless and very effective. If you put them in the same action, it'll make defenders choose their poison of what player they'd rather have score. But when it really gets nasty is when these guys start cooking the defense on their own. You first have a guy like Luka who's going to shred you with his slow cooker like scoring and crazy passing. And then when that's not the direction the team is going, well here comes this guy that has a counter for every single counter and that's Kyrie Irving. The moves that Irving uses continue to make him one of the hardest guys to guard in the league. And hey, you might be able to recover slightly after this low drop crossover, but when he pulls out this high arcing finger roll to beat Johnson and Wimby, it shows you just how hard it is to stop him. His moves come at you so fast that you barely can even react quick enough to stop him. And let's just be honest, to knock Kyrie off his game is like catching lightning in a bottle. Whether it's the midi, the three-pointer, the floater, the handle. From all aspects on the floor when it comes to scoring, Kyrie can make it difficult for the defense every single night. Like watch here, with Kuzma out on Kyrie and Bagley spaced out on green, there's no rim protection down low. 
So Irving attacks down Hill, but chooses to go left to be even further away from these bigger guys in case they can test. So once he gets that step on Kuzma, Kyrie high carries through the traffic, D sells on his last two steps to let Kuzma fly by, and when he wants to cash in, the bank is always open. With all these moves Irving has in his arsenal, defenders may think they have him stopped, but when he feeds that up fake to get right into that step through, he shows you to never think you're even a step ahead of him. Take this play for an example, the Mavs are on a triangle set to start it off. Now Wimby is involved, but it's solely to pull him out the paint. With Kyrie knowing this, instead of running off this Luka screen, he spins away out the triple threat which the defender wasn't ready for, so with the clear runway ahead, Irving extends out away from the defender while shielding him off with that left hand and his easy money off the glass. You see how it was very subtle moves that led to Irving getting the bucket? Well it's like that 24-7, it's just that things happen so fast that you might just miss them in real time. Since his driving is something defenders have to stay on high alert with, when he spins out the triple threat position, defenders will play him as if he's going to attack the rack, so when he stops on a down while feeding the step back, this creates a gap just wide enough for him to pull up comfortably over the top. As I stated earlier, you must stay attached whether it's Kyrie or Luka having the ball, because if you watch Irving come off this screen, he creates so much separation with the sidestep to the corner that by the time the defender gets there, there's really nothing they can do. This versatile scoring is what helps Irving put up 25 points a night, but with his high level of scoring comes a lot of defensive attention, so that's when you'll see Kyrie be unselfish and spread the wealth with his decent passing skills. Versus Washington, the double is aimed at Kyrie immediately, so he starts attacking downhill, and right when you think he's going to go finish at the rim after the Euro, Josh Green is slashing through the middle to receive the dump off directly into this two-handed flush. Now Kyrie can do pretty well at finding his open guys on the court, but when you look at Mr. Magic, Luka Doncic, this one you see how dangerous it is to not only have one guy who can score and find his teammates, but two guys who can score the ball with one being an elite passer. When you play with someone who can pass the ball as good as Luka, it makes life a lot easier for you as all you really need to do is make yourself available and he will make sure to find you. The Mavs have a good amount of shooters who Luka can kick it out to if the defense collapses, but then let's say they blitz them off screens or allow their man to go back door. Well, the lob threats on this team are very present and Doncic will put the pass on the money. It can be as simple as a pass away directly into a back screen and since Derrick Jones Jr. man gets hung up for a split second, it's a lay in off the alley -oop. Just like a play from earlier we discussed, when Luka has the double coming his way, it's going to force Jones into splitting the ground between Kyrie and Hardy right here, so with the swing back to the top of the key, Hardy is able to step right into a 3 since Jones is trying to recover. It may look easy, but trust me, when you have to make these reads in real time at the speed the NBA plays at, these finds can become very difficult. If you happen to be just a tad bit late, well it could be stolen, and if you don't place it right on the money, well that opportunity might just disappear. With Luka, he has this knack to see the play develop before it even happens and this is what leads to his teammates being able to score much easier. With his 9 assists per game, these passes come in many ways, whether it be off the bounce, a zip across the court, a lob, or just one of his magical passes. But nonetheless, it's going to hit its intended target and give this Mavs team a chance to put points on the board. If you ask me, this Mavs team can make a push if they keep everyone healthy. Not only is it those two stars, but the players placed around them fit their needs and play styles so well that it makes this offense run smooth. Does this mean that they'll go to the finals? Mm, I'm not really sure about all that. But with the way we've seen them play when they're locked in, they can definitely give teams a problem on any given night. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to drop a like before heading out. I thank you all for your support and I'll see you in the next video.